Hey guys, I was watching this <clears throat> this guy. Uh, he wrote a book called Hundred Baggers, and uh, what somebody had said was the 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 reason we get the word hundred baggers is uh, from baseball, where you know, or a ten bagger would be like two home runs and a, and a double, but. Um, and also they're called bag holders if you're losing <laughs> losing money you're left holding the bag but if you're uh, you know 10x 100x whatever um, but anyway I was looking at this thing 100 100 baggers and this is basically like what the search criteria uh, was I'm not really sure what what that means um, I mean that's greater than 10 uh, I don't know that's 10% or whatever but anyway I just was screwing around a little bit we did a this is kind of off the beaten path for me um, you know like DAG for example I bought that as a value play and it 30x and, and it could even go higher I don't know um, because it's at 66 now and 30x would have been up to 100 and it, it got to 100 but now it's something back on the way down but um, I got that through value investing not by looking for quote quote growth but as you can see I don't use any PE ratios no peg no price to book I'm just I just did uh, <clears throat> and I did uh, under two billion and maybe I could even go micro but um, I did over 40 percent inside ownership debt, debt F, equity this thing said uh, less than 60 0 0.65 I did uh, 0 0.7 return on equity here it says uh, return on equity should be 10% or more uh, I did 15 um, sales growth I just did positive and net profit margin I put 15% and um, I looked at this one the stocks only a dollar eighty some and has a very good dividend yield but uh, the sales and, and um, stuff doesn't seem to be there but um, when I was looking at these uh, I really don't like China I want to stay away from China so um, I don't really trust China that's that's the thing um, I don't trust their information but um, this one right here looked interesting to me and I looked it up and um, the P ratio is kind of high at 22 the earnings is okay at one ideally <clears throat> if I'm looking for something that's going to grow I really don't want them paying a dividend because I really want them investing the money into the company and this looks like a really high dividend you know the earnings are only a dollar and dollar four and they're paying a dollar 45 in dividends but um, but just look at this little thing right here I mean I know this doesn't say much but I mean their their revenues are steadily going up their earnings are steadily going up I mean this is something that you want to see and um, I haven't taken a big dive in this company I just looked at it for five minutes but um, like this one revenue up 29% with record cash generation um, I 
as you can see it hasn't been around very long 2001 and it's gone down a little so the range doesn't fluctuate that much 20 to 29 but anyway uh, you know I just happened to find some other articles looking um, hidden gems tremendous upside sell Nvidia and AI and then it said um, this company which I can't even buy that on M1 finance I guess it's too small or I don't know but this one I could so um, I might take a gamble on this one you know this is I'm kind of outside of my shell here I'm not really comfortable buying things at 20 times earnings but this company is very small at 700 million so if you're looking for companies that you know I, I don't know where this thing is going to be in 20 years you know maybe it's going to be a, a five billion dollar company maybe it's going to be ten billion dollars but um, I don't know maybe a good bust but um, I just happen to find this thing and this guy I'm going to give him a like it says stock compounder Brad Califf but um, I guess he's on Mick, uh, Chris Myers uh, portfolio and this is his portfolio I guess um, as far as it's interesting they got dominoes up here um, I'll tell you an interesting story I was in Hawaii for my sister's wedding probably seven years ago or and uh, I happened to meet the the vice president of Domino's <laughs> at the hotel, at the resort I was staying at and uh, um, She was kind of sloshed, but, <laughs> but it wasn't like she was like a regional manager or something. She was the VP of Domino's. Um, <clears throat> but uh, looks like this company right here has already gone up 50x in five years, in eight years. Um, I guess that's what this means that the this one has gone up 30 13 times this one going up 10 times four times 14 times yeah you know in order to uh, <clears throat> find the hundred baggers you know you gotta you gotta hold it for a long not a long time but you know n enough time for it to compound but um, But yeah, this is something interesting to look at. As you can see, all these companies are really big companies except for this one. And I can't buy this one on M1 Finance either. But um, I mean, I think um, throwing a little bit of money at some potential 100 baggers is, is uh, worth it. Why? Because you only need to be right in one out of a hundred. So you could be wrong on 99 and uh, lose money and they all go to zero. And the one that does go up a hundred bag, you know, you basically get your money back. Um, but chances are you're not going to be wrong on 99 out of a hundred. You're probably going to be right on a lot more than that and do pretty well. So I know this is a value and dividend focus channel, but uh, you know, a hundred baggers really interest interests me. You know, and and if you can find some, you can find the next Google, the next Microsoft, that the next Amazon, and uh, the next Coca Cola. You know. Um, I did find something interesting when I was watching a, a, a guy walk around the Philippines as, as he was saying that RC Cola was very big there. But um, 
anyway this is just a, a list of he's at six large cap two mid caps and two small caps um, and I'm sure his portfolio was a lot bigger than this this is just what uh, this guy has been able to find out but um, I was watching this guy's video on uh, it, was, it was his analyst of the, of the book and uh, here's a picture of the no that's here's a picture of the book Hunter Bagger by Chris Meyer and um, but I think like Dollar Tree was a hundred bagger Ziva um, people friendly bug deadly but anyway um, this was another one I was looking at um, P ratio is under 10 uh, the earn it's got positive earnings no dividend and if you're growing you know you won't know dividend and uh, just look at this revenues going up earnings going up um, Although ideally I would like to see this higher you know the earnings two years ago were actually higher than the earnings in the last two years but um, I didn't I didn't buy this one but but um, I was planning on throwing a couple bucks at this and see what happens you know and maybe hold it for a <clears throat> 15 20 years and and see what happens but I really like when you see things like this that's what that's what you want to see you want to see um, and in order to, to get an accurate forecast if you want to forecast and that kind of thing you have to have something that's predictable you know I mean if revenues are up way up here one year and they're lost money the next year and the next year they're way up and they're way down like you can't you can't forecast stuff like that but when you got stuff that's like this like slow and steady increases you can forecast that that you know all right ten years down the road it's gonna be like up here you know maybe 20 billion in earnings and, and maybe you know two billion in profits so um, like I said one over one divided by 20 is about a five percent return So, you know, normally I don't like anything over P. Uh, I really don't like anything over a P of 10, to be honest with you. But um, but when you got a company that's quote, quote, growing, I know I'm, I, I hate on the people that are all growth. and But in order to define these hundred baggers, you really do need... Um, they're growing, they're growing their revenue, they're growing their earnings um, year over year, and then they're, um, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a stab at this one and see what happens, and, and I might get my ass kicked, and, and that's okay, you know, but um, <clears throat> I really, I really like the way this this looks I like the, the the articles I like that they got 40 percent ownership in the business um, this one says JP Morgan has a 42 dollar price target But you need some stocks that you you're gonna buy and hold forever you need some that are just <clears throat> um, income that are you know monthly or quarterly income dividends and um, I think you need to take a couple gamble <clears throat> a couple gambles on, on things like this and you know uh, this is a very this company has only been public for a couple years and uh, so far it looks like they're off to a good start
but as you can see the market cap is only 700 million and their profit was 600 million so um, to me this look this looks undervalued even though Yahoo says overvalued here and <laughs> the uh, the, it says negative 17% estimated return but you know just ignore just ignore that stuff but um, anyway I'm gonna take a stab at this one and see what happens guys and I happen to see this article afterwards so you know it's kinda nice to see articles um, after you've made a decision uh, I don't really necessarily buy stuff based on article you know but I like to do my own research and then once once uh, once I've done my own research and made my own opinion you know if you see some articles that kind of back that up that kind of makes me feel a little better but um, yeah if anyone's interested I, um, I'm sure like I said, you guys can look at these if you want. Um, but of course, if you buy at this, you know you've you've missed out on ten x. But maybe maybe down the road, maybe you still have a chance at a hundred x. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching.